only thing that pleases our Father is our faith. And that is not anything anyone can teach you. That's not anything anyone can show you. You have to express your faith in your daily life. The more we grow in our Christian life, the more we recognize the difference between the material realm and the spiritual realm. The more we understand the spiritual realm, the greater responsibility we have for changing the condition that not only we operate in, but the people around us. Now, I don't mean you physically change their condition. I mean that you're action to change your condition by your conscious participation in the reality of where you are and what you're doing automatically affects your surroundings, whether that be a people, uh, a circumstance, whatever. Your conscious participation with the world that you've created starts to disassociate you from that world. Remember we spoke about how God created the material planets, earth, all of the things material. But He gave man the ability to change or create His world through His belief system. That's what's called free will. Whatever you choose to believe is the world you will live in. Entering Christ is a consciousness of Christ that requires the soul not to be in charge. So questions like, how do I do this? We already know that that can't be achieved just like you can't observe the kingdom. Jesus said, you can't observe the kingdom of God. You cannot see it with your physical senses. You cannot touch it with your physical senses. So you have to be aware through the Spirit that you are entered into Christ because you are no longer conformed to the ideas and the ways that you have adopted as reality. And this is where consciousness comes in. This is why I speak about consciousness. Consciousness is what the soul knows is real because it's experienced it in a different dimension. Jesus had a vision. His vision became reality in his soul. The consciousness of Christ totally transforms the way you see all things. You're no longer seeing the way you normally see. And when I say normal, I'm talking about using all the senses that you're born with to perceive your reality, to function according to the way you've been brought up and trained. Science tells us that we're only conscious 10 seconds out of every minute. When you can start prolonging that awareness and being more and more aware of your condition, not trying to alter it, not trying to substitute one thought for another, but aware of what's going on inside of you, then you become in the present. And what's in the present? Faith is now. Now is faith. Faith is in the present. What pleases God? Faith. When you're present, when you're conscious, you are pleasing God because faith is operating in your life. So 
So when you're in a position of knowing that you're conscious of what is happening in you, then you are living in faith and the Spirit is capable of working through you. Because faith operates through the love and through the Spirit of God. And as that operation begins to unfold in your life, so will your level of understanding of the kingdom. Remember Jesus told Nicodemus, you cannot see the kingdom unless you are born of the water and the Spirit. You will see the kingdom when you're conscious of what Christ is doing through you. That is the kingdom of God. That's how Jesus was operating on the planet. That's how you're designed to operate as His son and daughter of God. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. But the Father who dwells in me does the works. Was Jesus doing the miracles? No. Was Jesus setting the captives free? No. The Father that dwells in me does the works. So when you enter into Christ, you're no longer trying to do what religion has taught you you should be doing as a Christian. You're now being led by the Spirit. You're now allowing the Spirit to do what He's designed to do in you and through you. But that means you have to be conscious of your condition, of your position, and what is happening all around you. Not changing it, not trying to alter it, but conscious of it. So when Jesus came to the planet, it says that He paid for your world system through His death and resurrection. That's what salvation is. He disassociated you from the circumstances and the world you have created through your beliefs by giving you His precious life, His precious blood, so that you could change your world. Jesus was walking every day on this planet so tuned in to the spiritual realm with His Father because of His faith. Because He knew His Father. He experienced His Father on a daily basis. This is all He asked of us, experiencing Him on a daily basis. And you do that consciously. It was symbolic for the present time in which both gifts and sacrifice are offered, which cannot make him who performed the service perfect in regard to the conscience. All the actions of the Old Testament, all the people keeping the law, would not perfect their conscience. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? This is the old law, the covenant of the Old Testament, talking about you cannot change the way you think through actions. For the law having a shadow of the good things to come and not the very image of the things can never with these same sacrifices which they offer continually year by year make those who approach perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered. For the worshipers once purified 
would have no more consciousness of sin. Your consciousness of your condition is the first step for the Holy Spirit to draw you to that place you've been longing for. You call it the new birth, call it whatever you want to. I'm just giving you something for you to meditate on, something for you to strive for. Be conscious of your condition. Don't try to change it. Don't try to alter it. Just be aware of it and ask the Holy Spirit to enter into your life and let Him conduct the transformation.